you train. And you train some more. But somehow you just always feel like you're fighting an uphill battle and your Doberman just isn't calming down or behaving. Well then, just stop. Because believe it or not, there are a lot of other ways to get your Doberman to calm down, behave, and focus that have nothing to do with more training. So if you stick around to the very end of this video, you're gonna learn exactly what these things are, how to use them to calm down and focus your Doberman, and you're also gonna see how one simple change in what you feed to your Doberman can actually make the biggest difference. So, let's go. Believe it or not, pheromones can actually make a huge difference in how relaxed your doorman is in your home. And after some respected studies on this just recently came out, owners are now starting to take the option of using a pheromone diffuser as a way to calm their Dobermans down a lot more seriously. Essentially what you do is you take this little device here that's filled with a synthetic reproduction of a pheromone that helps dogs feel more comfortable and relaxed and you plug it into your outlet in your home just like you would a normal scent diffuser. In fact, in one study, which I'll link to down below if you're interested, studied the effect of an electronically heated diffuser like this one filled with dog appeasing pheromones on 30 different dogs who were exhibiting fear responses to fireworks and in that study, there were significant improvements in nine out of the 14 fear responses the dogs were rated on and specifically with the intensity of their fear according to their owners. But owners actually have found these diffusers really effective for just generally daily calming of their Dobermans and helping their dogs relax specifically if they suffer from separation anxiety. We all know that Dobermans need a lot of exercise but what a lot of owners don't do is take an extra few minutes to really find out how much exercise their specific Doberman needs to feel calm and relaxed. Dobermans are individuals, of course, and while some may need a ton of exercise to really feel relaxed, others may not need all that much. And at Doberman Planet, we found that the average seems to be somewhere between one to two hours of exercise per day for this breed. But the most important thing for you as an individual owner to do is to determine exactly how much your dog specifically needs to feel relaxed. How do you do that? Well, you keep a log. You keep a log of the amount of exercise your doorman has in a given day, and then you kind of rate their behavior and their anxiety levels throughout that day. And then after a short time, you'll probably see a very clear connection, honestly, between the amount of exercise your doorman gets and how relaxed you rated that they were feeling on a given day. In fact, to make this easier for you, I did create a PDF for you to download and print out and use to log your doorman's behavioral responses to various amounts of exercise. The link to this will be in the description below below for you to download and use for free. So start off by using your log for a week or so and see if you can't begin making connections between the amount of exercise your Doberman's getting and their level of anxiety. I'd be willing to bet that you'll start seeing a correlation pretty quickly and you'll be able to tell what level of exercise you know is too much, where your dog is lethargic and just lying around all day, and what is too little, where your Doberman's just pent up and anxious and just in your face and annoying all day. It's also been a well-known fact for quite a long time now that a quality diet actually can lead to a calmer and more relaxed dog. And a lot of Doberman owners have reported this to me when they've switched from feeding their Doberman's dried kibble to freshly cooked meals. The problem though kind of always seems to be the same. Owners start cooking their Doberman fresh meals at home. They see these amazing improvements in their dog's behavior. I mean, their dogs are calmer, they're more focused, they're more relaxed. But so many times the owner quickly gets burned out because of how much work they have to do, not only to research what to make that's nutritionally balanced for their dog, but also just the amount of work it takes to keep up with cooking those meals all the time. In fact, one Doberman Planet viewer, Anna, she was in this exact situation and I remember talking to her over a year ago or so and she told me at that time she had to keep cooking her Doberman's meals herself even though it was just a ton of work just because of what a huge improvement she saw in his behavior. So I actually asked Anna if she wanted to give Ollie food a try with her Doberman. If you're not familiar with it, Ollie is a food service. Well, I think I should let Anna tell you the rest about what happened with her Doberman. Hi everyone, my name is Anna. I'm a longtime Doberman Planet viewer just like you guys. And yes, John asked me if I would be willing to give Ollie a try with my two-year-old Doberman Booker. If you haven't heard of Ollie before, it really is the simplest way to keep your Doberman happy and as healthy as can be. Basically, Ollie will customize tailor a diet for your dog based on the answers to a series of questions such as, 
the dog's breed, dog's age, activity level, special needs, and a lot of different factors just to make sure that they're getting the best one for you. And so after I signed up with Ollie and answered those few short questions, they delivered fresh cooked recipes in refrigerated packaging straight to my door. It was incredible. Their meals include only real human grade ingredients such as high quality proteins, good fruits, great vegetables, and all of the meals are formulated by a veterinary nutritionist and proportioned specifically for your dog, which is the best. I've actually used to cook homemade meals for Booker, but I had to stop because it took me four to five hours. It felt like just cooking up four to five different meals. But here's where all it comes in. It is so simple for me. Now I dedicate zero time to home preparing his food. They just show up at your door and I can still feed him fresh food at mealtime. It is the best. I've been feeding Booker all these fresh human grade meals for about two weeks now and I have noticed a ton of changes in him. He has a lot less anxiety. He's calmer throughout the day. He seems to have a easier time focusing and he actually even listens better to me now, which is amazing. He is has such great general behavior, but he's just relaxed now and such a good dog. And it's freed up a lot of time for me to and enjoy life with Booker. Also, it has seriously been so wonderful. So yes, I would absolutely recommend Ollie to other Doberman owners out there. There's really nothing like it. And we love our dogs so much. They're our best friends. So let's treat them like it. Another way to get your Doberman to behave that doesn't involve more training is by providing your Doberman with a consistent routine and a job for them to accomplish. These are two of the most important things you can do to create a calm and well-behaved Doberman. So creating a daily goal to accomplish with your Doberman that occurs at the same time each day this is incredibly powerful because it fulfills both of these basic needs of this breed. You can even make something as simple as a daily walk around the block on the same route each day feel like a job or a daily perimeter check of your property. Uh, you can make that feel like a job or two laps through the makeshift obstacle course you've created in your yard. That could be a great job to do. I've even seen Doberman owners give their dog a job of pulling a tire from one side of their property to the other <laughs> once per day with huge praise and reward at the end. It really doesn't matter what the job is. What matters most is that it occurs at exactly the same time each day and that it's made to feel like a job to your dog. To make it feel more like a job, just make it all feel very different from anything that else that you do. That's all you gotta do. You can use a different collar, like maybe a work collar that only goes on your dog right before this task or a much different shorter leash that you use or a specific command or even just a more exact rigid behavior on your part every time you do this one specific task with them. Lastly, and this is a very important one, is to talk to your vet. And I'm not just saying that as like a legal disclaimer or anything like that. I really mean this because not only can your doorman have an underlying medical reason for being ill-behaved and anxious all the time, but a vet can actually recommend some other really cool options such as diet changes and supplements that can really help with your specific doorman's mood and focus. Remember that it's not just all about training with these dogs. Just get as many of those other cards stacked in your favor as possible with your Doberman's behavior before you even worry at all about the lack of progress you're making with your training. And just like Anna found out, a quality diet makes one of the biggest impacts on having a calm and relaxed Doberman. So please consider checking out Ollie, the sponsor of today's video. I'll have a link to Ollie down in the description down below this video. So you can go to their site, you can answer a few questions about your dog, and you can check out the custom meal plan that they'll make up specifically for your dog based on your dog's age, health concerns, activity levels, and even their breed even customized to the fact that it's a Doberman. It's pretty cool. So please take a minute to check out Ollie at the link in the description below this video. Just look for that little blue arrow. That's where the link will be. Thanks so much for hanging out with me yet again today, guys. Please make sure you are subscribed and most importantly that the notification bell is turned on or well, yeah, you will miss another Doberman Planet video release. And keep being great Doberman breed ambassadors, guys. Spread the word about this amazing breed and I'll see you next time.